you know, I, got, I got attacked a bit this week for using uh, the word lunatic, for which I've apologised. Good, thank you. For which I've apologised. Jeremy Corbyn called a Tory MP a lunatic in 1992, and he used the word again <laughs> in Parliament in 1993. So, you know, I think... I think there's source of the goose and source okay, of the gander, Jeremy. Jeremy. I'm give you one second you've, to come you know, back you've been, on that you've been like just a bit then, through to yourself on. on occasion. I'd rather we got on to right. discussing politics. Great. <laughs> well, let me be clear. I mean, I, I will never play any part in splitting the Labour Party. I've been Labour all my life, and I'll be Labour till I die. For me, there is the Labour Party or nothing. And my grave fear is that the party could split that we could end up with a, a divided party. And if that happened, the only people that would benefit is the Tories. And the real losers would be the working people of Britain, of Scotland and elsewhere. So it is essential that we guard against the split. But in order to do that, I do feel we need to change the leader of the Labour Party in order to make sure that we can come back together. I'm not even sure Jeremy did vote in, in the general. Oh, in. That, well, oh, I, in. I, I'd like to hear you say oh, it, Jeremy, because I'm not Oh, in, I thought we'd grown up and we weren't any longer going to use those kind of questions or those kind of remarks. Well, I would like to hear you confirm oh, that you, you voted in. you know perfectly well what you and I were doing during the European referendum. What we're doing, we're speaking together on the same platform in Cardiff, asking people to vote to remain.